my name is Elizabeth Curtis. I'm here from the Click Lewis Arena, and I'm here to talk to you about forward stroking. We're going to show you some stroking exercises. And the thing about stroking, it's much more technical than you think it is. And stroking is just going across the ice. It's what you do all the time when you're playing hockey. First of all, we're going to do a stroking exercise where our feet are in a V. And this is the hockey stance. So everybody get into their hockey stance. You're going to bend your knees, bend your ankles as you do this. And we're going to start by just walking across the ice in our hockey stance. Go ahead and walk. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to stroke. So you're going to bring your heels together after each stroke. So you're going to do the hockey stance after every stroke and go ahead and start to push down the ice. And then take a nice stop on the red line. Let's do that one more time. So go ahead and get to your V again, your hockey stance. Take a couple steps just so your feet know what you're doing. And then go ahead and start to stroke. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually focus on the stroke. And a stroke, to get speed, you need two things. You need pressure with the pushing foot, and then you also need the length of the pushing foot. So the longer the stroke, the, more, the, the faster you're going to go, and the more pressure down into the ice, the faster you're going to go. So it's all about pressure and length. So what I want you to do this time is start in your V. You're going to bend your knees, bend your ankles, so go ahead and get into your V. Hold your sticks. And then what you're going to do is you're going to really feel pressure down in the pushing foot. And then go ahead and take your stroke. So push and stroke, make a long stroke, feet together. Push and stroke, long stroke, feet together. Push. Push. Take nice long strokes. Pressure down into the ice as you're pushing. Now as you're doing the strokes, you want to make sure that your feet don't come off the ice too high. You want to keep your feet nice and low to the ice. So after you take that stroke, the foot's going to be low to the ice and you're going to bring it right back underneath you. Stroke, keep the foot low to the ice, bring it right back underneath you. Try to do the pressure and the length of your stroke one more time. Two hands on your sticks, your uh, heels together, bend your knees, bend your ankles, and go ahead and push. We're going to do a stroking exercise. And it's the toe drag stroking exercise that I'm sure that many of you have done. You're going to still do your pressure and the length of the stroke, but then at the end of the stroke, you're going to drag your toe on the ice and bring it back underneath you. So you still do your long stroke, but then drag your toe back underneath you. All right? And then you're going to go to the next stroke. All right? Make sure that the beginning of the stroke starts with pressure in your heel. So the beginning of the stroke, actually, you press the heel down into the ice. At the end of the stroke, you roll to the toe, and then you bring in your foot with your, with your toe drag. So you have heel pressure, roll the toe, keep your toe on the ice, and go ahead and bring it back in. All right, so go back to your heels, bend your knees, bend your ankles. A nice long stroke, drag your toe, bring it in. Stroke, drag, bring it in. Now, the direction of the toe is important because you don't want your toe to be dragging this way. You actually want your toe to be dragging with your toe pointed out. So make sure that your toe is pointed out, not this way. You want that because that's how you're going to get more power. And stroking is all about power. So you want to make sure that that toe is facing out on the drag and then bring it back underneath, still facing out. So then your heels come back together. All right, so let's go back into our heels, heels together. Bend your knees, bend your ankles. Go ahead. Push and toe drag. Toes are out. Good. Try to turn those toes out. Turns out. That's better. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to push our partner. So go ahead and get into pairs. All right, and what you wanna do is, is have one person drop their stick behind you. Great, now the other person is gonna hold their stick and the back person is gonna do a backward stop. The forward person is going to push really hard. And what you wanna do is you wanna try to get those heel to toe stroking. You don't have to drag your toe. Go ahead and push. As you're doing this exercise, you can really see how the stroke is long and powerful. And you do that by pushing your partner. Keep pushing, keep pushing. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch. And now the, your partner can get back at you for uh, you being mean to them. Ready? And go. Good job. Stay with your partners. Go ahead and get your other stick. One person's gonna be in front, one person's gonna be in back, and the back person is going to do a stop, usually a snowplow stop. A two-foot snowplow stop works well, or a one-foot snowplow stop works well. And then the forward person is going to be pushing. All right? So you can bend your knees, bend your ankles, heels together, and go ahead and push. Back person is doing a stop. Nice. Switch. All right, here we go. Go ahead, guys. Keep going, keep going, you can do it. Keep coming. All right. Very good, very good. So that's stroking, and what you want to make sure you do is that you bring your heels together before each stroke. You also want to think about your, the length of your stroke and the pressure of your stroke. And then you want to do some exercises with a friend. That's a wrap.